complex. What does that mean? That's a separate um, condition which you have to distinguish between chromosome abnormalities and problems within individual genes. Fragile X, the name came because, you know, they had these large families where boys had mental retardation. And we, we knew that the gene had to lie on the X chromosome because it seemed to be linked by women. And, you know, the affected boys had a certain picture that was recognizable. But when they were studying these families in the old days, all they had available was chromosomes. So we used to, they used to do chromosomes on these boys. And one day in a lab in Australia, they actually were doing chromosome analysis at this somewhat crude level that we have. And they noticed that every boy with the mental retardation had a snap, had a little break in the X chromosome at its tip. So it got its name. They called it Fragile X. The X seemed fragile at that time. No, it makes sense. But it's only in 90, I think it was 1991, when we found out what exactly was going on at that spot where the X looked like it was ragged. And what, what's going on there is that there is an individual gene there which you can't see under the microscope by a chromosome test, but you can do a separate test. So a fragile X, you said boys, but you, can't girls have fragile X like? They can, sometimes. But it's kind of rare. It's much rarer. About a third of girls who carry that genetic abnormality may actually have some degree of developmental problems, but usually milder than boys. And that's because you know that girls have two X chromosomes, so one normal X can sometimes compensate. 